Hey, family. Um, I usually get super nervous beforehand, and um, this morning I ran into Bob and I asked him uh, before his keynote, I'm like, you getting your game face on? And he's like, no, why? We're all family here. And it totally put me at ease until about 30 seconds ago. Uh, but this, this is how I truly feel. It, it, this is a family, so I shouldn't be nervous whatsoever. Um, and, and addressing the brief of, of how school is, uh, is preparing itself for the future. Uh, and before I do that, I just want to give a little bit of context because it's required in order for you guys to understand what we do and how we do it in order for me to go on and tell you what we're going to do in the future. Um, school works with large companies to unlock purpose in their brands and then activate it in culture. And we also work with large nonprofits who already have purpose but need growth and awareness and fundraising to create more social impact. So we're quite bullish on the notion of what purpose can do in culture and what purpose can do from a brand growth perspective. We're 27 people when you count permalancers and FTE, but we work with some very large clients. In particular, the four clients that we work with the most are TIAA, a financial services company out of New York City, Hershey, uh, Kimberly Clark, on which we're partnering with XPRIZE to create a large, world-changing, we hope, sustainability effort, uh, and Beam Suntory. We also work with some really innovative, forward-thinking, young, hungry nonprofits like Surfrider Foundation, uh, Pencils of Promise, Civic Nation, uh, Fund for Armenian Relief, and Missio, which is the Pope's uh, Peace Corps. So we punch above our weight when it comes to creating strategy and activation around purpose. Um, and it's telling that these large organizations and these large brands uh, are coming to a purposeful or purpose-led strategic and activation agency like ours. Uh, we, as principal, don't enter awards. And it took every ounce of strength for me not to enter into the Georgies this year but I had to stay the line. Uh, but we let other people kind of speak on our behalf, and a number of organizations and a, lot, a number of publications have really given us really good light uh, and given us great props that we're really stoked about, whether it's Mashable or Forbes or Digiday or Adweek. Uh, they're recognizing school as kind of a leader uh, in this burgeoning, growing trend of purpose-led marketing, purpose-led advertising. Uh, I'm particularly stoked that uh, Adweek agreed to print the word shit in their publication. It's one of my uh, little accolades. But give a shit is our, is our hashtag of how we approach all our work. Uh, the acronym for that is GAS, or GAS, and that's what we pour on a lot of the work. We throw purpose into the work in order to make it better. And we know that purpose truly does matter, right? As Bob alluded to in his, uh, in his keynote, brands and are increasingly becoming known to be taking a stand at scale, and their audiences, their consumers are expecting that. Uh, they're expecting brands to create social impact. Um, and we're at the forefront of, of helping them in that. And very rarely will you pick up an ad week or an ad age or a Forbes where you won't read an article or an editorial about how important purpose and brand purpose is in modern day marketing and advertising. Um, so purpose to us really does matter, and it does unlock a ton of growth. Where we, strategize, uh, where we uh, uh, emphasize our work is in strategy first. We're a strategy-led agency. Um, and so we partner with large organizations to try to unlock growth and help them navigate uh, business decisions and customer experiences through the lens of purpose, through the lens of social impact, uh, through the lens of, of being good for the world. We also are very action-centric. Uh, we decided that as experientialists, we, we tend to work in the human-centric media, whether experiential, social, or digital. And for instance, for Beam Suntory, we have three brands that we work on, but one of them is Cruise and Rum. Uh, they are, have been known for a long time as kind of the party beach rum, uh, and we're transitioning them into a more purposeful brand, where they're becoming a brand that is helping the islands recover from hurricane disaster, and also disasters in North America as well. So not only are we creating the strategy around that, but we're actually creating the campaigns, the experiential, social, and digital campaigns that actually gets that, that brand to move into a more purposeful direction. And as we just heard from the panel, content is a key component to what we do as well. Um, we think that every 
brand has a purpose story to tell and we want to elevate it authentically to the world. Um, last year we shot a three-part documentary in Armenia for the Fund for Armenian Relief uh, and we won a great assignment with World Remit which sends, uh, which allows immigrants to send money back home uh, and we're creating the content for all their uh, launch activations in North America as they go from New York to Chicago to LA. So strategy, action, and content are at the heart of what we do at school. So as we're going into how we're preparing ourselves for the future, there's four real kind of big steps that we're looking into uh, in terms of how we're preparing and how we're already acting in culture right now. As, as Matt said, the future is now, in three seconds from now, and a minute from now. But I think the first thing that we really need to do is prepare ourselves is really believe in purpose, right? Believe that purpose is a lever that you can pull, that social impact is something that audiences truly want, uh, and we wanna help brands navigate that want from their audiences. And I was struck by this quote by uh, Colleen DeCourcy, who's the Chief Creative Officer at Wyden and Kennedy, uh, and as she was speaking at an ANA conference, and she said, 21st century marketing is about humanity. People are more interested and willing to play with brands than they ever have been. They also expect more from brands than they ever did. And to Bob's earlier point, brands need to take a stand at scale, right? And that's what's gonna get people to take notice, right? To participate, to act, to share in the creative campaigns that brands are putting out into culture. So we are fervently rooted in the belief that brand purpose is going to be one of the major drivers uh, in business going forward. I often say, probably perhaps erroneously, that purpose is a new digital, right? And that those companies that didn't become digitally native were left behind. And those companies that are leaving purpose behind and are not looking at social impact in the way they operate, in the way they create, in the way they go out to market, they're gonna be left behind as well. Second thing is we're really, really fervent believers in strategy. Uh, Melissa Waters, who runs the marketing at Lyft, um, said at another conference, I believe it's the four A's, that world-class creative is table stakes. I need a strategic partner who's embedded in our business, helping us with product decisions and the way we design our service experiences, not just making ads. And we're going all in on strategy as well. We've made a, ma a major hire. Uh, Jim Moskew is our new chief strategy officer. He's here today. So I urge you all to, to meet him. Uh, we have Jenny Max that we hired as our client strategist. And we truly believe that we can kind of bridge the gap between what consultancies are doing in terms of insight generation and, and business uh, growth decisions, et cetera, and what creative agencies are doing in terms of really cool new creative campaigns. We can bridge that gap through the, perp through the lens of purpose. Fourth thing is we always want to empower teach and help. Uh, one of the reasons we're called school is that we have a, a really, really like large, powerful ethos to teach younger generations about the power of purpose. And we know, most of us know, that millennials are choosing the brands and the companies that they work for based upon the meaning that they can bring to their lives. But we also want to empower. And one of the things that you see as a trend in, in advertising today is gender inequality. And there's a lot of effort and there's a lot of movement in order to create more gender equality in our industry. Uh, for us, that's a, a major component. And as a matter of fact, when you look at our, at our agency makeup, we're 65% female staffed. Uh, and we're entirely proud of that notion. More so from the lens of teaching, in the close to five years that we've been in business, we've graduated 86 interns. So we've graduated 86 advertising students or people are coming from SCAD uh, or other design schools and we're kind of imbuing them with purpose thinking. Jim and I are both adjunct professor, uh, professors at CU Boulder in the advertising and business school. So the idea of teaching is a key component to what we're trying to accomplish. And once we teach this younger generation of creatives and strategists and account people then we think they can go out into the world after drinking our Kool-Aid, drinking our school aid, uh, that they will continue to kind of propel the work into a more purposeful space. Someone like Marissa, 
who spent 10 months at school and then has gone on to five new positions uh, at some of the leading agencies in the country. And we have schooligans, we call them schooligans, we have them at some of the best agencies in the country, McCann, Leo Burnett, Fitzgerald and Co., Deutsch. Uh, we have a schooligan at Argonaut. There's a schooligan at Motive. Uh, in Matt's video, the guy who said, purpose and everything, everything to purpose, Peyton, he's a schooligan. So he is definitely drinking the school aid. And lastly, we are looking at new ways of innovating on revenue. Uh, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there, uh, and we want to unlock some more revenue streams. One of the strategic relationships that we've developed is with a new conference called Natchcom, and they bring natural food brands and emerging food brands with technology platforms like Amazon and Shopify and Alibaba. And we want to create a strategic relationship with them because not only can we unlock some revenue from these new brands that are coming out to the fore, but we also want to get some key learnings about how to sell. 90% uh, of the new food brands that are coming out in market are eschewing brick and mortar completely and going straight to the digital sphere. So we want to be part of that, not only just get more clients, but also find some revenue streams, whether it's an equity stake or otherwise, and some key learnings from that. We know that purpose helps work, helps you attract and retain talent, helps you win awards. Uh, it's award season now, um, and I just read uh, the drum uh, said that the top four creative uh, campaigns that have garnered the most awards are all purpose-led. The first one is out of Australia uh, for a, a safe driving PSA. Do you know what the second one, the most awarded uh, creative campaign so far in North America is? It looks like this. Fearless Girl. So we know that purpose and purpose-like creativity not only unlocks business growth, it unlocks creativity as well. Our URL at school is schoolhelps.com. Uh, we actually just updated the site. I urge you guys to check it out. We know that purpose can help. I think one of the biggest forces in humanity is the intention to help others. Uh, we're here to help your clients. We're here to help you. We're here to help unlock massive potential in how we make the world a better place. And this ethos, ethos excuse me, isn't just schools. It's ours. And the Pro Project Pledge initiative is a great testament to just how much purpose and social impact can unlock so many great things. And I urge you to check us out, and I'm uh, really grateful to be here to tell you about school and how we're preparing for the future. Thank you very much.